Hi everyone, you must have watched part one, and here we are at part two. Um, next one is uh, the Rocketeer. Uh, what do I say about this film? It is a popcorn movie in every sense of the word. Um, I really think that The Rocketeer is a great movie. It's uh, very underlooked, and I think a lot of people need to know about it more. So, it's about a guy during World War II time that discovers a rocket pack and uses it to fight Nazis. Great movie. It's here on YouTube, too. Next one, Transformers 1. Okay, Mindless Explosions, Transforming Robots, Shia LaBeouf, need I say more? Next one, Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, very underrated. I think the Batman animated universe, very underrated universe. A lot of people don't take it as seriously, so... I think that you should. Speaking of uh, the animated universe, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Awesome, awesome movie. Highly recommend it. Both of them. And... They're not perfect. I mean... I wish we had gotten a better first glance of uh, the Joker, but... I think that, excuse me, I think that these movies are very, under, underappreciated and uh, we could do with more viewings of them. The next one is uh, Samurai Sentai Shinkenger, The Fateful War. Now, not a lot happens with this, and it's only 20 minutes long, but it does explain uh, how Takaru gets his power up. The next one I uh, gotta put is uh, Any Versus series. Say for Maji Ranger versus Deck Ranger. That one is terrible. But in any case, moving on. The Versus series, check them out. Super Sentai Versus series. Um Green Lantern. This movie got panned by critics, but it it's a stupid movie, but it's fun. It's really fun. And if you're just looking for a mindless two hours, watch it. It's not terrible, but it does have a lot of stuff that could easily be without. Next one up is uh, Lilo and Stitch. Again, I think I'm the wrong demographic for this, but I really don't care. This is my guilty pleasure list, and if you don't like it, tough. Tough call. I think that this movie could have been really great had they focused on the sisters, but Again, we've seen this story before. It's just E.T. But I like how the whole thing is done in watercolor. That's pretty cool. Next one is uh, Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. Uh, beautifully animated, beautiful story. It's just a lot of visuals. That's all it really is. 
there's not a lot of talking and uh, it's just awesome it's an awesome movie next one uh, Kaizoka Sentai Gokaiger The Flying Ghost Ship now this movie had a lot of things going for it it showed uh, past foot soldiers of uh, past Super Sentai but what I didn't like is the singing ghosts okay so that we could have done without but as it stands this movie uh, really could have used some work okay so the next one up is Lion King 2 Simba's Pride not nearly as good as uh, Lion King itself but it's one of those sequels that actually tries first Disney sequel I've seen that actually does give a shit and to be honest it's a good effort remember how I said I like the Versus series well Super Sentai Versus series check them out and next up uh, Engine Sentai Go on your boom boom bong bong keke cho bong uh, this is where they get a movie exclusive uh, robot engine Dai Shogun. Check it out. You won't regret it. Um, next up is uh, Tokso Sentai Decker Ranger the movie. They also have a movie exclusive robot. And uh, check out uh, Hakuju Sentai Gow Ranger The Fire Mountain Roars. Again, another movie exclusive. But the Super Sentai movie series, they have some pretty good ones, not gonna lie. Gokaiger vs. Gavon. I mean, I'll talk about each of the verses series another time, but. Let's see. I covered the verses series. Next up, Superhero Tyson. This is basically a crossover between Kamen Rider and Super Sentai and it was my introduction into Common Rider so now I'm watching Double and you'll see a review of that once I'm done and oh and the next one is uh, Shinkenja Returns uh, this is like a they have like a sort of uh, inception thing they're going through and that one is pretty cool and last but not least I only like these for the action scenes but I like the Star Wars prequels I don't love them I think they're complete crap and the action scenes are the only things worth watching they don't make a lot of sense but yes I do like the Star Wars prequels. Whiny Anakin, I hate. I mean, a lot of this stuff really doesn't make a lot of sense, but yes, the Star Wars prequels. And those are my guilty pleasures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around with more videos. Until then, guys, bye.